physical quantities and measurements. Introduction Measurement is highly important for the accurate study of matter. Accurate and precise measurements are very much needed for engineering and scientific purposes too. In previous classes, we have already learnt about physical quantities such as length, mass, time and temperature and their SI units. We have also learnt about the direct measurement of these physical quantities. In this chapter, we will learn about some indirect methods of various physical quantities. Measurement of area Area is the measure of surface occupied by a body. The SI unit of area is square meter. One square meter is the area of a square having each side of length one meter. Small unit of area is one square centimeter. Multiples and submultiples of unit of area. One square meter is equal to 10,000 square centimeter. One square centimeter is equal to 100 square millimeter. One R is equal to 100 square meter. One hectare is equal to 100 R is equal to 10,000 square meter. Area of an irregular shape. The area of an irregular shape cannot be determined easily just by using the formula for area of regular shaped objects. The areas of such shapes can be found by using graph paper. We put the object of irregular surface on the graph paper and mark its outline with the help of a sharp pencil. Then we count the number of complete and incomplete squares. The area of incomplete squares is approximated to be the half of area of complete square. The total area of the irregular shape will be equal to the sum of the areas of the complete and incomplete squares. Activity To find the surface of a leaf Take a graph paper having area of a small square 1 square millimeters. Place a leaf on the graph paper and draw its outline. Remove the leaf and count the number of complete and incomplete squares. Neglect those square which are less than half. The total number of square which gives the surface area of the leaf will be equal to the sum of number of complete and half of the number of incomplete square. Me measurement of volume 3D concept Volume of an object is the space occupied by it. The SI unit of volume is cubic meter. 1. 1 cubic meter is the volume occupied by a cube whose each side is equal to 1 meter. There are some other small units such as cubic centimeter and cubic decimeter. 2. 1 cubic centimeter is the volume occupied by a cube whose side is equal to 1 centimeter. Submultiples of units of volumes. 1 cubic meter is equal to 1000 cubic decimeter. 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1000 cubic centimeter. 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1000 cubic millimeter. 1000 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 liter. 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter. 1 cubic meter is equal to 1000 liter. Volume of some regular solids. Shape, formula for volume. 1 cube, side into side into side is equal to a cube where side is equal to A. 2. Cuboid Length into breadth into thickness L into B into T. 3. Cylinder Pi R square H. 4. Sphere 4 by 3 Pi R cube. 5. Cone 1 by 3 Pi R square H. Volume of irregular shaped solids the bodies which have no regular shape are known as irregular shaped bodies. The volume of such bodies cannot be found by using any mathematical formula. For this, we use measuring cylinders. The method of volume measurement is known as displacement method discovered by Archimedes.
activity. To find the volume of an irregular shaped solid using a measuring cylinder. Take an irregular shaped solid and immerse it completely in a measuring cylinder filled with water. Note the reading of measuring cylinder before immersing the solid and after immersing the solid. The level of water in the second time rises up. The difference between the two readings of the level of water will give the volume of irregular shaped solid. Measurement of density of regular solids. It is normally said that iron is heavier than wood. It means iron will weigh more than wood if both are of the same volume. For this term, density is used and it is said that the density of iron is more than the depth of wood. Thus, heaviness or lightness of any substance is compared by taking the same volume of each. Iron will have more mass if we take a cube of iron and another cube of wood of equal volume. So, density of a substance is defined as its mass per unit volume. Formula If M is the mass of a body of volume V, then the density rho is expressed as follows. Density rho is equal to M divided by V, where rho is the symbol to represent the density of a substance. Unit of density The SI unit of density rho is kilogram per meter cube or kilogram into m raised to the power minus 3. When we say that density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube, it means that 1 cubic meter volume of water weighs 1000 kilogram. A smaller unit is gram per centimeter cube. Activity To understand the meaning of density, take four blocks of different materials having the same volume. Weigh them and compare their masses. Find out the densities of each using rho is equal to m divided by b and list it increasing and decreasing order of their densities. Also find out the material which is more dense. Density of regular solids The density of a solid can be measured by finding its mass and volume. The mass m of a substance is obtained by weighing it with the help of a beam balance or physical balance and volume V of the object regular shape is calculated from its dimensions. Thus, knowing the mass and the volume of a substance, we can calculate its density by using the formula rho is equal to m divided by V. Calculation of speed We sometimes want to know how fast something is moving. In the figure, object A has a higher speed than object B. Thus, speed is the measure of how fast an object moves. Formula Different objects may take a different amount of time to cover a given distance. Thus, speed is defined as the distance travelled by an object per unit time. Speed is equal to distance travelled divided by time taken. If the speed of an object and the time is known, then distance travelled can be calculated by the formula. Distance is equal to speed into time taken. Unit of speed The unit of speed depends upon the units of distance, travelled and time taken. The SI unit of distance is meter and time is second. Thus, the SI unit of speed is meter per second. The other units are centimeter per second and kilometer per hour. Measuring speed If you are inside a vehicle, say car, you can easily find out how fast you are travelling. A car has a speedometer in the dashboard to tell the driver how fast it is travelling. The speedometer gives the speed in kilometer per hour. 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 1000 meter divided by 60 into 60 seconds is equal to 1000 divided by 3600 is equal to 5 divided by 18 meter per second.